Let's talk about magic E words. So we know already that when there is an E at the end of the word, it's going to make the vowel say its name. So when there's an E at the end of the word, you're going to hear the vowel say its name. So the vowel may say A, E, I, O, or U, depending on the word. So we're going to go through and um, review two pictures together, and I'm going to have you write your answers in your homework journal so that, uh, that we can check them at the end of this video. So we're going to review the first two pictures together, and then I'm going to have you pause, write the rest of them in your homework journal, and we will review them all together. So let's start with this first word here. I can see it's a robe. Already I'm hearing, when I'm thinking about what the word might be, I'm hearing O, oh, the O oh sound, robe. That's a good hint that it's probably going to have a magic E at the end because I can hear the vowel saying its name. Let's look at our two choices. So we have rob, that is a CVC word, rob, that doesn't match with our picture. Let's try the second word. I see there's an E at the end that's going to make the O say its name. So, robe, robe. And that looks correct. So, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. You could circle it or write it in your homework journal. Let's try the second picture here. This is the number nine. Nine. Again, I'm listening to see if I can hear the vowel saying its name. And I believe I do, the, the I is saying its name. Let's check our two choices and see which one looks correct. So we can first try our, our CVC word, which is going to have our short vowel sound in it because there's no E at the end to make the vowel say its name. So it's N, I, N. No, that doesn't match with our picture. Let's try the second choice. N, I, N. Nine. That is correct. So I'm going to highlight it on my screen and you can go ahead and write it down in your homework journal. I'm going to have you pause this video now and you can take the next few minutes to write the answers to the rest of these. We have wake, home, wipe, wave, cone, bit, cane. So you can go ahead and write the answer to the rest of them in your homework journal while this is paused, and then we'll review all of the answers together. Okay, pause now. Okay, I hope you've had a chance to complete the rest of your answers. Let's go over the rest of them quickly together. So the first picture that we need to go over after robe and nine is this one, wake. I can see my choices are w-ack or w-ache. Wake has the E at the end is making the A say its name, so I know this is correct. Let's try the next one. Home. Again, I'm listening and I hear that long vowel sound, the O saying its name, so I know it's going to have this magic E at the end to make the O say its name. Next we have what I wipe should be this one here. The E at the end makes the I say its name. Let's try wave. Wave. Again, I'm hearing that long vowel A sound. The E at the end will make the A say its name, so I need to uh, highlight the magic E version. Cone. Cone. Again, another magic E sounding uh, word because I hear the long vowel there. So I'm going to highlight cone. Next we have bit. This is a trickier one. But it, bit. This is different than the ones we've done so far because I can tell that the short vowel here is the sound I'm hearing, not but I'm hearing but it, like that inchworm that we practice. So but it is a CVC word, and that should be the answer for this one. And finally, we have cane. 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 I hear an A sound there, so that means I know it's a long vowel. The E at the end is going to make the A say its name. I hope that you had a chance to check all of your magic E or CVC words, and um, if you had 
difficulty with any of them, feel free to go back now and fix any of the words that you wrote incorrectly. I'll see you soon.